At first, it seemed like a joke. A ship was blocking the Suez Canal. How could that even happen? But this was no joke, even though it rapidly became one online. Soon, a flood of comments were pointing out the obvious: a giant ship somehow stuck in a narrow canal was a too perfect metaphor for all the problems that the world was facing in 2021. Even if you were having a bad day. At least you weren't a fifty-thousand-ton container ship that was somehow blocking ten percent of global trade. It was the perfect mix of absurd and frightening. How could one ship in one place bring global trade to a halt? It all began on the twenty-third of March, twenty twenty-one, while travelling along the Suez Canal. A container ship called Ever Given was hit by a seasonal sandstorm with winds of up to fifty miles per hour. Blown off course, the crew struggled to keep control overnight in the face of violent winds. By morning, Egyptian officials announced the unthinkable: the massive ship was wedged diagonally across the Suez Canal. It wasn't going anywhere. And because it was blocking a single-lane section of the canal, neither was anyone else. One of the world's largest container ships, the Ever Given, is basically a floating skyscraper, a sea-going giant the size of the Empire State Building, and heavier than thirty Eiffel Towers, capable of carrying twenty thousand containers of cargo. When it got stuck, the estimated value of its cargo was seven hundred and seventy-five million, much of it fruit and vegetables, which later had to be destroyed. It also held a ten-meter model of a dinosaur, nicknamed Dino, destined for an adventure golf course. During the six days the canal was blocked, almost four hundred cargo ships were held up at either end, bringing to a halt almost ten billion dollars worth of trade. Global oil prices rose and fell due to delays in supplies. Markets for other commodities, such as computer chips, also took a hit, and the effects on global supply chains were still being felt months later. All of which you'd think would have provided a lot of motivation to avoid this exact thing happening. What went wrong? In many ways, this was a disaster waiting to happen. Global trade has expanded enormously over the last fifty years, with the sheer volume of traffic putting global choke points like the Suez Canal under increasing pressure. And while there are constant efforts to widen and deepen the canal, they're still behind. The Ever Given is one of the first of a new generation of extra-large container ships, and its sheer size causes problems not faced by smaller ships. For one. When it's fully stacked, it's one hundred and sixty-four feet high. That's like a sail larger than two soccer fields. When faced with fierce side-on winds, keeping it on course is a major challenge. The blockage was solved within a week, but the effects on deliveries took months to diminish. One of the biggest problems caused by the Ever Given was holding up supply of shipping containers, which were already scarce. Even now, that's still a pressing issue. Today, with delays for almost everything lengthening, and even regular post slowing down, we're living in the world this disaster warned us about. The Suez Canal might be flowing freely, but global trade is still stuck in the sand.